Chan A6 probe embarking on a lunar exploration journey at the Wenchang Space Launch Center, China. At 17.27 on May 3rd, Beijing time, the Chang'e 6 probe was successfully launched by the Long March 5th carrier rocket at the Wenchang Space Launch Center in southern China's Hainan province. Subsequently, it accurately entered the Earth-Moon transfer orbit, achieving a perfect launch. The Chang'e 6 probe embarked on the world's first journey to sample and return lunar soil and rocks from the far side of the moon. With the pre-selected landing and sampling area being the South Pole Aitken Basin on the moon far side which perpetually faces away from the Earth. Approximately 37 minutes after blastoff of the Long March 5th carrier rocket, the launch vehicle sent the Chang'e 6 probe directly into a predetermined Earth-Moon transfer orbit with a perigee altitude of 200 kilometers and an apogee altitude of approximately 380,000 kilometers. Yes, it took only 37 minutes for the Chang'e 6 probe to enter the Earth-Moon transfer orbit. As part of the preparations for the Chang'e 6 moon probe mission, China successfully launched the Xue Chiao 2 or Magpie Bridge 2 relay satellite at 831 on March 20th. The Xue Chiao 2 relay satellite, as a crucial step for this moon exploration mission, will provide intercommunication between the Earth and the moon for missions like Chang'e 6. The Chang'e 6 probe consists of an orbiter, a returner, a lander, and an ascender. Compared to the Chang'e 5 mission in 2020, which achieved moon surface sample return from the near side of the moon, the Chang'e 6 mission has many highlights. The entire process of the Chang'e 6 mission from launch to sample return takes about 53 days, involving multiple stages filled with risks and challenges. The scientific objectives of the Chang'e 6 mission include conducting on-site investigations and analyses of the landing areas on the moon far side, as well as laboratory analysis of moon samples, deepening the study of the origin and evolutionary history of the moon. The Chang'e 6 mission differs from the Chang'e 5 mission primarily in the sampling location. While Chang'e 5 sampled from the near side of the moon, Chang'e 6, with the support of the Chou'e Chiao 2 relay satellite, is implementing the first ever sample return mission from the moon far side involving breakthroughs in key technologies such as retrograde moon orbit design and control, intelligent rapid sampling, and moon takeoff and ascent. The Chang'e 6 mission will involve multiple international collaborations. In April 2019, the China National Space Administration issued the Announcement of International Payload Cooperation Opportunities for the Chang'e 6 mission. In November 2022, it was announced that the mission would carry payloads from four international partners, a French instrument called DORN, Detection of Outgassing Raiden, to study the transport of lunar dust and other volatiles between the lunar regolith and the lunar exosphere, including the water cycle. An Italian instrument called NRI, Instrument for Landing Roving Laser Retro Reflector Investigations, consisting of a passive laser retro reflector to be used for laser range finding of the lander,
similar to those used on the Schiaparelli and InSight missions. The Swedish NILs, negative ions on lunar surface, an instrument to detect and measure negative ions reflected by the lunar surface. The Pakistani iCube QCube sat orbiter developed by the Institute of Space Technology, which carries two optical cameras to image the lunar surface and obtain lunar magnetic field data. The Chan A6 probe was launched by the Long March 5th carrier rocket. The Long March 5th carrier rocket is China's first large thrust carrier rocket with a core stage diameter of 5 meters, with a total length of about 57 meters and a liftoff weight of about 870 tons, it has a liftoff thrust exceeding 1,000 tons. Its low Earth orbit carrying capacity can reach the level of 25 tons, and its geosynchronous orbit carrying capacity can reach the level of 14 tons. This launch marks the 519th launch of the Long March series carrier rockets. Due to the continuously changing of the relative positions of the Earth and the Moon to ensure the successful launch of the rocket, the Chan'e 6 mission employs the narrow window, multiple trajectories launch technique. Ten moon trajectories have been designed within a 50-minute window each day for two consecutive days to increase the probability and reliability of launch implementation. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thank you for watching.